This trade war that he talks about actually started in 2001 when the world allowed China to join the World Trade Organization. Now, what the Trump administration people are, have been telling me over the past few months is that they see China's One Belt, One Road initiative, which is pouring more than $1 trillion uh, into investments, building ports, facilities uh, throughout the world, uh, as, as a geopolitical threat. On top of that, uh, Trump is fed up he, uh, with uh, these uh, property thefts, which have been going on since China was let into the WTO. China does not play fair. And that is just a reality. And don't mention it at polite dinner parties with the Chinese. You know, on that, Craig, the U.S. actually has, has now formally launched a complaint uh, with the World Trade Organization over China's, quote, discriminatory technology licensing requirements. What could the U.S. gain from that? What could China lose? And, I mean, if you can explain what that actually entails. Well, okay, this, this, what's going on now, Andrea, is brinksmanship, okay? What Trump wants here with China is recipro reciprocity, which the U.S. has not... Uh, seen from China since they joined the WTO. So this brinksmanship is going on. And, and, and what you got to look at is what they're specifically doing now. One, Trump says $60 billion in, in tariffs. China responds $3 billion in counterattack tariffs, fruit, pork, recycled aluminum, and steel pipes. And, and the markets go, oh, dear, start clutching pearls. No, don't clutch your pearls yet. When China starts putting tariffs on things like soybeans, sorghum, and Boeing airplanes, those are the big ticket items, that's when you got to worry. This is brinksmanship, Trump believes, designed to get both parties to sit down at a table and decide on a proportion, a, re a reciprocal proportion of trade balances that everyone's going to be happy with. It's hardball. This trade war is not brewing. It's actually percolating, but okay. it hasn't overflown yet. Tell me, Craig, can the America first approach actually help the U.S. economy, regardless of whatever political implications there may be, will Americans ultimately see growth? No. China is an inextricable part of the global supply chain. Globalization is happening. There is no backtracking. But Donald Trump has a magnificent talent to make uh, the American public believe in things which are not real. The world needs China, and China needs the world. What Trump believes, or at least claims to believe right now, is that he has to up this war with the Chinese in order to get this reciprocity. And one more thing, Andrea, the United States is not the only country nursing grievances against China. A lot of countries are. And those countries which are allied with the United States are being exempted from many of the tariffs that we're talking about.